Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you probably one of the neatest skid loaders I've ever owned as a package from Bobcat. Um, this is going to be a 2014 Bobcat S650 and it's going to be a millionth Bobcat loader machine. So this was a special edition that they built to my knowledge in the S650 only. Um, some options it had, standard it had this diamond plate kit put on. They had done a beadlock, well, imitation beadlock in my opinion, wheel. Um, inside the cab is all customized from Bobcat with some pinstriping, an orange and black seat, um, some really cool decal features that they have done. Uh, really a neat machine. But here's a machine, I bought this machine, which a lot of you know I was sick last year because we quit doing YouTube videos as much as we normally do. So I bought this machine actually in January after I'd had a procedure and I was off work for uh, three, four months there till I got back on my feet. And this machine is kind of set here until we got time to get through it and uh, whatnot. We're just now getting into getting some cab wheel skid layers together here for winter. And so 1,745 hour machine. And again, this is one of the neatest machines I've owned, in my opinion, as a package style machine from Bobcat. Uh, just the way it looks, it's just a one-off look piece. Uh, we're going to start you back here in the engine compartment, take you completely around this machine like we always normally do, and show you what we've done and, and what it's all about. So, the machine is mostly original paint. These back corners were scratched, so we did paint the back corners. All of this white is original, all the bottoms are original. We did paint from right here forward because it was chipped up in the front. Um, and then we did do the bottom gray. Cab is all original. Typical, we do that on a lot of stuff. We always do the bottom gray because it fades so bad. But we did put, uh, I was able to order these decals and actually got them from Bobcat. So this is different, which I actually like that. They put a vinyl decal in there, the millionth loader decal, a Bobcat decal. They striped it back here. And I'll be honest with everybody, we did put the new decal that goes in here. I hate this decal. They're absolutely rude to put on and ignorant, but it is on there. And it does have some bubbles on. But rear door we painted. This is the special edition. S650 label goes there. And that is the right and, and proper decal for this machine. I think I had a little over $600 in decals from Bobcat to make this thing original. So uh, powered by the 74 horsepower uh, Bobcat engine, a four cylinder turbo. We've had excellent luck with these motors. We've done nothing to them. We've done a complete and full service on this machine. We did use all OEM Bobcat filters. Everything is changed and ready to go. Up underneath, uh, which your hydraulic filter, charge filter, your co fuel cooler, hydraulic uh, cooler, everything is up underneath there. Uh, we have serviced everything there so that it is uh, ready to go. Um, again, there's no oil leaks, no abnormal noise, smoke, blow by, anything of that nature. The machine, again, is 100% ready to go to work. One ding right here. Everybody see that? Doesn't affect anything. It doesn't have a ding there. So, what I've been buying for tires, we did put four brand new tires on it. I have switched over to buying all Galaxy. Galaxy is a very expensive tire. I have a little over 250 a piece in tires now. They're an XD 2010 uh, with rim guard, very heavy. Um, and I do believe they're a 14 ply tire, um, 12 ply tire, but very good heavy tire. They do have the back cut in them for extra grip, but four brand new tires on it. Um, again, all this white paint underneath is original. We did paint the back panels and these fronts. Uh, all that's original. Uh, zinc plating, you still see it everywhere on it. Bucket, 74 inch Bobcat. This is what they call their severe duty bucket. Uh, excellent bucket, very good cutting edge. Power bob attached, seven pin attachment control device. Uh, there's no wheel leaks in this machine anywhere. Cab is complete and straight. Uh, we went through wiper arm, everything, glass, door seal. There was one ding up here, they must have caught the cab, handle once, has a little ding up top there. Other than that, everything is excellent. Both sides match. It's not a rust or salt machine, Let everybody understand that. And again, very cool, special edition seat. This is a joystick machine. The only thing in this machine, and I did not replace it because it works, the radio screen is fogged up. Um, may have got a little water down in it or something and caused that. But again, the radio works and you can hear it playing. And I do not hold the rights to the radio or to the music there. So we'll be through here. I just started the machine. Uh, there was your hours, volts. 
No air codes again, 1745 hours. Selectable joystick. We'll go up through our gauges here. No active warnings. There's all your pressures. Again, cab heat air, cab heat air all works. You can see they strike ground stuff. Where these are normally gray, they're black. Uh, really cool inside the cabs of these machines. Um, we did put new cabin filters in. Suspension seat, joystick controls. Uh, back air's your cup holder. So like, you know, this is gonna have obviously your snail mode. Uh, so we push snail mode, you're gonna go up and you can speed up or slow down uh, for speed and then go back to standard. So, I'm gonna go ahead at this time, turn this back over to Matthew, and we're gonna fire this thing back up and run around, show you that everything is supposed to do, and um, run it, show you everything's supposed to work the way it is. So we're gonna go ahead and we even hook the bucket for you. Here we go.
So when the door is shut, uh, bars down and engages, but I am bound. Uh, again, here I am. I was running that foot as well. So hand throttle all works. Uh, wind is slide. Uh, again, this is a very, very cool machine. Just 1,745 hours. You know, we're living in a market right now where you can't even order a machine new right now if you can by a miracle. Uh, low hour machine, 1745. I'm seeing stuff three, four thousand hours they're asking within a couple grand of what I'm asking, you know. And I'm trying to be more than fair in my pricing. But if you're looking for something neat, I mean, I had even toyed around with the idea of just sticking this thing in the shed and keeping it because it's just a neat machine. Um, this is the first one I ever owned, probably be the last one because you, just don't, you don't see them come on the market like that. Uh, the guys usually bought them or diehard Bobcat guys and kept them. I just think they have a really, really cool look to them. So, <laughs> excuse me. So, if you have any questions, 814 658 3066. Um, please check us out on our website, www.marksupplyco.com. Understand here, I do try to go the extra mile to do something a little different. Yeah, we might be a little small company. Um, we're happy doing that. But when I sell something that goes out the door, I'm comfortable with what I sell. I'm not an auction buyer. And a lot of you guys out there that are and you're pushing stuff down the road today that you say is good, you make a guy's job like mine very hard that we do honest things and service stuff and you throw it and make it right. And you're out selling some freaking piece of garbage you bought in the sale, but you tell the guy it's great. So then that makes every guy out there in the world's buying something on the internet gun shy about buying something actually freaking good from somebody that cares. But that's another rant and that's another day. So. Any questions, 814-658-3066. This is why I take the time to do exactly what I'm doing, is to show you the truth about a machine. So, if you have any questions, again, I'm Nick Miller, 814-658-3066. As always, thank you very much. Checking out Mark Supply Company.